Hello, my name is Wienke Giesemann, CEO and co-founder of The Things Industries. I'm going to tell all about Laura Wen and the agriculture sector. As The Things Industries, we have many customers in the agriculture sector, and I'm going to give you a few examples on the, uh, the power of Laura Wen in this industry. So one of our customers is Halter, and what they do is they created a collar for cows so they can track the herds. Um, another customer of us is Terralytic. And what they do is they create moisture sensors that you can put into the ground and then can you measure the moisture of the field so you can do precision irrigation. Another use case that runs on our network are weather stations. So many of us are used to get the weather on our mobile phone and this is because there's a lot of historical data around places where people live. In places where not a lot of people live, we don't have that data and we need precise uh, uh, current data to uh, make better weather predictions, which are critical for uh, uh, in the, in the optimizing your yields uh, uh, of your crops. Um, another partner of us is Smart Rule. What they do in Scotland is, what, is they run a, uh, a complete countrywide network within a cooperative. So what they do is they join forces uh, with uh, many farmers and they're building all kinds of use cases on, uh, around that. Also around moisture contro control and cattle tracking. A well-known example in our industry is um, using vineyards uh, uh, and using LoRaWAN in that industry. Um, irrigation is very precise. Uh, and what Vinduino does is they do not only measure the moisture of the ground, but they also uh, have actuators that can then trigger all kinds of irrigation. So then they have the complete loop uh, uh, from moisture to irrigation. Um, another partner, uh, partner of us is the Department of Primary Industries in, uh, in, uh, in Australia. And also, they, they have a wide range of use cases, soil moisture, but they also have large water tanks for which they measure the fill rate. Um, movement tracks uh, cattle, and uh, they focus uh, on different animals as well. Uh, I, I want to uh, invite uh, Peter, CEO of Movement, uh, to tell more about this. Hello, everybody. I'm Peter Vogels, and I'm from Movement. What we do we track and trace cattle over long distances with our GPS ear tag. We do this mostly in extensive areas for beef cattle, and we use the Things Industries to do this. Please have a look at uh, the slide where you can see our GPS ear tags. We developed this together with SODOC, uh, yeah, this ear tag, and you can see the cows on our own developed software platform. We have been commercial since last year in 2020, and since then we have sold thousands of ear tags. We made real impact on farmers' lives, where they first relied on subjective data and mostly on experience. Now they can see the cows on their map, see what the bulls are doing, if they're real working, if um, the cows jump the fence, if they have a clean master, that means if they herded all the animals. And I mean, now they're doing everything with helicopters and have to fly in a grid. Now it's much easier for them to find these cattle. Also, you can check if the cows have sufficient water. What we do now as well is uh, added other devices to our network. The first thing we did is adding water monitoring. Now the uh, farmer can see how much water there is in his well or trough, and he doesn't have to drive, for example, 50 kilometers to a water uh, trough. Yes. As you can see in the background, we track mostly cattle, but we also track some other animals. We track koalas, bison, camels. Frankly, there's just too much to tell, but luckily for you, we will be speaking later on to the conference as well. So hope to see you there. For now, have fun and be inspired. Bye. Super, super, super interesting story. Um, a lot of different animals they, they track. Uh, if you want to learn more, uh, check out the link in the description uh, and, and you will find his, uh, his talk and uh, uh, get an elaborate uh, view. So uh, one of our other partners is Sense.io uh, and uh, also they want to share their story. 
Hello, I'm Roman Stoshevsky, the founder and CEO of Zensayo, an Internet of Things company specializing in smart agriculture. Why do we use LoRaWAN in agriculture? Before I answer this question, let's consider the broader context of factors driving the Internet of Things adoption in this vertical. There is almost a perfect storm priming agriculture for a profound disruption. First, the demand for food has ever been increasing. The world's population has been growing at relentless rates, stretching the limits of global food production and distribution. Second, there are more severe constraints affecting production. The climate change has been disrupting the weather patterns, making the agricultural yields less predictable. The natural resources, such as water, have been depleting at unsustainable rates, forcing governments around the world to issue more stringent usage restrictions. And in the US and other parts of the world, the rising protectionist policies are affecting the migrant labor forces and rising the production costs. Third, the recent technological innovations and practices have created exciting new possibilities for much better solutions to make the agriculture more sustainable, efficient, and resilient. In this context, agriculture vertical has very distinct considerations for the use of the Internet of Things technologies. It's a highly fragmented vertical with many use cases and diversified customer base. The food production is done over enormous distances in diversified terrain. Additionally, due to diverse geography, the environments experience harsh and unforgiving conditions. And the rural areas have poor communications and power grid infrastructure compared to the metropolitan hubs. Lastly, agriculture is mostly a commodity business with significant cost pressures. LoRaWAN is nearly perfect wireless technology and ecosystem to address this unique set of considerations. Zensayo has had much success with LoRaWAN deployments in agriculture, and we are very happy we chose this technology. But as always the case with complex systems, there are some practical challenges with LoRaWAN that we have been facing and solving over the last few years. I will talk more on these points at a greater depth in my next presentation. I hope you can join me there. Thank you. Great, great. All very interesting stories. And what you see is that LoRaWAN is solving a lot of different problems and connecting a lot of different sensors, creating an ecosystem of sensors in the agriculture industry. So um, if you want to know more, uh, there's more details in the description below. And uh, if you're interested in doing LoRaWAN in the agriculture sec sector, feel free to uh, go to thethingsindustries.com and uh, we'll, we'll, we can help you further. Thank you very much. <laughs>